All right, well, when the party is over, somebody has to clean it all up. Oh, dozens of Public Works employees are cleaning up those last scraps of Mardi Gras trash <laughs> even this morning. WKRG News 5's Chad Petrie is live in downtown Mobile with a look at the progress there. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Bill. And you know, it's not perfect, but it's definitely in, an improvement from what I've seen in years past. Now, behind me, of course, big pile of trash. That's pretty normal, but a lot of the streets are clear this morning. Mobile has a new public works director this year who has some very lofty goals for the cleanup after Mardi Gras for 2023. So public works director Mark Vassallo said his goal was to get all the cleanup done Tuesday night after the order of myths wrapped up. We usually have overflowing trash cans in some parts of downtown and litter and furniture. We do have some of that, but it definitely looks like an improvement from what I've seen in the past. His goal was to make it seem like Mardi Gras didn't happen hours earlier. And then you would think that's not possible, but, uh, you know, getting the opportunity to ride along with those guys every night, it, it's amazing. And it goes from uh, almost a disaster zone to uh, a fresh new city every day. That cleanup can include hundreds of pounds of junk, including beads, cups, tents, chairs, and sometimes furniture. Really not seeing furniture or tents out here uh, this morning, maybe a chair or two. But the major trash pickup should be done later today. Power washing continues through the week. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.